Good day, 99th District. I'm John Patterson, your state representative. And uh, today, as we record this, it is 9-11. And 16 years ago, today, we remember where we were, what we were doing. And I just would like to uh, uh, remind all of us that our first responders, critically important to, to all that is good about us. And, and uh, that we should remember uh, those days. Uh, with, with an emphasis on hope. And hope is something that, that I'm going to focus on in, in this particular segment as it relates to primarily Asheville City and in a more general sense, Asheville County and the 99th District. As many of you recall, there was a, a tragic murder this spring of a young girl from Lakeside, uh, abducted and, and, and brutally, uh, brutally assaulted and uh, just a terrible event all the way around it. Young girl with lots of promise, lots of hope. And that particular incident brought together a number of individuals who began to address the, the challenges we face. Superintendent Watson, Asheville City Schools, City Manager Jim Timonier, Pastor Chris, Mc, Chris McCain of Second Congregational, um, Chamber of Commerce and uh, Julie Sundquist and me met to discuss what we might do to, to bring a sense of hope, a sense of uh, rejuvenation, uh, resurrection, if you will, out of this tragedy. All summer long, we, that core group, have added other people within the community. And next week, beginning September 16th, this Saturday through the following Saturday will be known as the Week of Hope for Asheville City. Out of that tragedy, there is new life. Currently, there are about 40 different members at the table discussing the various things that we should be hopeful for in Ashtabule. And uh, this group represents government, school community, the religious community, critically important to have at the table the business community, and our social, social agencies. And I'm going to share with you, uh, at this point, uh, the logo for the Week of Hope. You'll see that there's a hashtag on it, and we encourage you to use that hashtag and to share with our people throughout the district, in fact, anyone online, stories of hope, your observations of what is good about Ashtabula. So, using that as a segue, uh, I want to share with you the theme from each day and then some of the events that we will celebrate each day of this particular week. Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday the 16th, is the day of new beginnings. And, and I'm going to read to you some, some of my thoughts, particularly as they relate to the framing of each day. It's been said that the, a long journey begins with the first step. And the Day of New Beginnings represents just that, the first step, the start, the realization that our rejuvenation and our transformation must initiate at some point. And for the committee, for the city, for the county, that journey begins on September 16th. And on that particular day, on the 16th, there are a number of things going on. The Asheville Y, so critically important to the health of the city, the physical health, the emotional, mental health of the community is having a uh, fundraiser to continue their efforts at the Andrus Banquet Center. Uh, another thing that's going on on Saturday, uh, the Kids for Positive Change and the sponsors from Leadership Asheville County were holding their second annual Walnut Beach Cleanup Day and we know how important the lake is to us and how hopeful that source of water is constantly as it rejuvenates our lives. And uh, also along the lake, uh, Lakeshore Park, is the rib burn-off. So, and those are just three events taking place well within the confines of Asheville City. Again, we're beginning to realize that there is hope, there is a dream, there is a story for us to tell. Now, Sunday, obviously, uh, is the day of hope. And I believe that hope is foundational for each of us individually. And as a society, 
collectively, it's important to reach our God-given potential. It is a belief that a new dawn, a better day, a brighter future awaits us. Where there's hope, there's vitality that can move mountains. On this Sunday, September 17th, we seek to do just that. Now, the ministerium in the city of Asheville has come together that day to deliver a message of hope from the pulpit. And the idea is to unite our spiritual beliefs and in putting our trust in a greater power, dedicating this week, in fact, the, the months to follow, and, and potentially our lives, committing ourselves to making Ashtabula into its fullest potential by serving others and putting their needs ahead of our own. Uh, there's going to be a community cookout at Second Congregational in Ashtabula at, at uh, noon. Uh, there's going to uh, food's going to be served by the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Mother of Sorrows later on in the afternoon is putting on a chicken dinner uh, from 12 to 4. And uh, later that evening, there's going to be a prayer vigil at uh, Signature Health. Again, to kind of put a bow on that entire day. Monday of next week is hope for the future, because that's what this is about. A better future for all of us. And, and I, I, I thought of this. Uh, each one of us is driven to find meaning in life. What does it mean that, that I was born or that you were born? And what does it mean that we lived? And for what shall we be known after our time here has, has come, to a, come to an end? Wealth is fleeting. Fame is ephemeral. But making a positive difference in the lives of others is that goal for which all of us should strive. Our hope for the future begins with our good work now that will and over time become our legacy. So on Monday, I'm really excited about this. Uh, there is going to be a dedication to Asheville City Library for the Children's Garden. And it, this uh, fantastic uh, spot just to the north of the library uh, is going to be a place where children can interact with, with, uh, with, with wildlife. And, and I'm thinking of, of monarch butterflies at this time of the year place where, where children and parents can go for reflection. And stepping outside the children's section at the new Asheville City Library, it's a perfect location for those deep thoughts about which we have read to really sink in within the harmony of that particular uh, setting. So I'm excited about that. The other thing, um, the first day of after-school discovery begins on Monday. So we have a lot of hope for the future, and that future resides in our children, our most precious resource. Now Tuesday is our day of excellence, and as an old cross-country coach, I, I hearken back to Steve Prefontaine, one of the best runners in the history of, of that particular sport, and he said, to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. Life is too short to fall short by not going the distance and giving our best effort. On the day of excellence, we recognize all who have given their best to honor their gifts. It just so happens on the day of excellence, we are going to be celebrating the best of county uh, at, the, uh, at Spire. And uh, this is an annual event that recognizes those individuals, those businesses who have gone a step above. There is much to be excited about in the business community here in Asheville County. And the uh, Day of Excellence and the Growth Partnership uh, Best of County dovetail nicely into raising that particular hope for us. On Wednesday, we have a day of community because, after all, we are interconnected. We breathe the same air, we drink the same water, we share our children with one another, our hopes, our dreams. It is about community. And I believe that we were not created to live and work alone. Peace joy and happiness, those cornerstones of human productivity are best experienced when they're shared with others. With all, by all, and for all are the hallmarks of a healthy community. On this day, Wednesday, September 20th, we will celebrate our collective being, our unity, and our community. And on Wednesday, we have another of uh, some wonderful things uh, taking place. 
the Asheville Kiwanis Club is going to be giving away children's books to all Asheville area Head Start children. Uh, youth leadership kicks off on that particular day. And on Wednesday, the Asheville City's Homecoming Parade that brings the community together. And by the way, our Lakeside Dragons are off to a 3-0 start, having won again this past Friday night. There is definitely hope, and Frank Hall and the folks are doing a great job uh, in that particular uh, venue. So, day of community, day of all of us. For all of us, I should say. Now, Thursday is a day of giving thanks. Now notice, I didn't say thanksgiving, I said giving thanks. It's an, an active, purposeful action. We've been instructed to give thanks in all circumstances. For food, for shelter, and the folks in Florida and Texas are very much appreciative and on our minds, in our hearts, in our prayers, with respect to food and shelter at this time. For our great nation, we have so much to be grateful. But on this day, we're especially grateful for the bounty of the land, which we call home, our Ash to Beautiful. In all things at all times, let us endeavor to possess an attitude of gratitude. To that end, uh, a number of things, the Asheville Local Foods Day. Most of the schools, in fact, this week, the others may be coming on board, at this point, we have four of the six are going to be serving in their cafeterias as much food grown here in Asheville County. And the idea is for our students, our teachers, those individuals, and I might add our hospitals are on board with this as well. They too will be uh, offering local foods uh, as, a, as a farmer's market type scenario in their facilities to help stimulate those particular uh, agricultural pursuits right here in the county to circulate their, those dollars right here. We have so much going for us agriculturally, and this is a day of giving thanks to do just that. Um, growth partnership, along with that, uh, along with uh, ATEC and, and Kent State Asheville are sponsoring Career Awareness Day at the Spire Institute for all, all county seventh graders on Thursday the 21st. They're going to be uh, exposed to some of the jobs, some of the potential, some of the hope, some of the future right here in the county inspire every single seventh grade student in this great county. I'm excited about that. Uh, later on the day, uh, the Lakeside Varsity girls are going to be playing home, a soccer game, another way to show our, our, our thanks by offering young people a chance to come together and bond through uh, athletic pursuits. Friday, September 22nd, is that day of celebration. Now, think about what we have right here in Asheville City and Asheville County by extension. We have a great lake, a grand river. We have beautiful sunsets and blinding snowfalls. We have grapes and apples, corns and beans, tomatoes and squash, forests and lakes, fields and streams, land, sky and sea. But we also need to celebrate who we are as a people, young and old, east side and west side, from Swede Town to Finn Town, dragons, heralds, warriors, or even panthers and mariners. We are a blend, a wonderful blend, that through our diversity lies our strength, and in our collective strength, our greatest hope for tomorrow. There is so much to celebrate in this great city and in this great county. So Friday, uh, the local food on the lake fundraisers taking place at Crosswinds Grill to celebrate our harvest and to celebrate our local food folks. And Friday night, Lakeside's at home for their varsity football game. And nothing brings together a community like an athletic event of, in the fall with uh, the, the magnitude, the size of a, of a football game. So again, we are celebrating all that is good about us on Friday, September 22nd. Saturday, the 23rd, is another special day. It's a day of anticipation. We have hope, we have celebration, we have future, we have all these wonderful things. But it's also important to anticipate what the future will bring. As we live on hope and work to our full potential, as we are thankful in all circumstances and celebrate our community and its people, let us also anticipate what new experiences 
lie ahead of us. For when we are hopeful, joyful, and thankful, then will we eagerly anticipate the new day that awaits us. Let us anticipate together a new Ashtabula with a new enthusiasm, a new energy, a renewed spirit permeating all corners of our lives. Let us endeavor to make Ashtabula, Ashtabula truly Ashtabutiful. And to that extent, on the 23rd, as we wind down this week of hope, the, uh, the, the lakeside's having their homecoming dance to kind of cap off the week for the kids. Lake Erie uh, Area Recovery Center, Lark's 50th anniversary, is going to be held at the Spire Institute at 6 o'clock uh, Saturday night. And then uh, the 54th Annual Grape Jamboree is going to be taking place in downtown Geneva. Now, a little bit of uh, a background here. We have focused on Asheville City, and there may be some events that we missed. I mean, there is so much that takes place in this great county that a group of 40 may not, and we apologize in advance, have been aware of everything that goes on. Again, focusing on the city, trying to revitalize, bringing hope to the city. It is our goal next year to make this a truly countywide effort a week of hope for this county. And by extension, it would be wonderful to take this to the state level, wouldn't it? A week of hope for the state of Ohio, a week of hope for the United States of America. I know that's well beyond our effort at this point, but it is about hope. And I have great hope for this city, this county, and this district.